Hello everyone, welcome back. You may be familiar with the turns that I've been showing and you can see when the market is going to turn and that's a, a pretty amazing thing. Many people just don't know that you can do that and some of the things when I show people don't really know what it is that I'm talking about but it's really not that difficult. So if you saw my video that showed that Bitcoin was going to turn and I, I actually sent out a post with a chart that showed the hour that it was going to turn. It was confirmed that it was turning on the hour. And then that was the time when Bitcoin turned. A week later, two weeks later, you know, the rest of the world said, hey, something's crazy going on with Bitcoin. Well, one other thing that's going to happen now, and the only videos that I would make about a turn would be a longer term turn but on a daily basis I'm looking at all turns on all time frames and trading and getting in and out sometimes on the one or two hour or maybe even on the five 15 10 minute time frame wherever the opportunity is at that time to actually record a video and edit it and upload it it's probably going to be something that has a, a longer term turn that's coming otherwise it just might not be useful so this pattern right here when I show this if you know what a trend is and you ever saw one if you ever looked at a chart you would know exactly what I'm talking about because this forms on all charts on all time frames many times so we see these multiple times per day and there's a distinct recognizable readable shape now I realize a lot of people can't read it, they're just not used to it or whatever, but one of the things you might want to do is get used to it. Learn how to read charts, then you can see it. So if you look at this shape right here, this is the exact classic shape. You know, whenever I show something, it's the exact classic shape. If people don't know that it's the exact classic shape, it's because they haven't looked at a chart before. Maybe they have looked at charts, they weren't really paying attention to what the market was doing, seeing the shape of it. So this is the exact shape. This part right here, one, two, three, four, five of three. This part right here, an amazing correction in a downtrend. So I've been looking for the end of that correction. So it's gonna go down for a wave five and it's, it's just clockwork. Markets do this over and over and they never stop doing it. And they've been doing it as far back before I was born, but certainly as long as I've been looking at charts, I have tested and discovered that they're doing this. If you can see that this is a trend and you know what a trend is, and if you can see that this is a correction, you know what a correction is, and you can see that this has formed a big drawn out correction that we've been following and I think we're almost at the end of it. So if this is the last wave of the correction right here, and I'm on the daily, then when I go down and examine that, about the four hour, you will see what's known and recognized and cataloged and shown in books. You can Google it. It's on the internet. A trend with a extended wave five, a perfect one, two, three, ABC of four, and then one, two, three, four, five, of five. So because of that, it's very likely that this could be near the time when the Euro Aussie will turn and go down, not just go down, but form a wave five on the daily that would last about one month. It would go down for one month and very likely that's going to happen today, maybe in the New York session. So here's the result of that Euro Kiwi and we nailed the turn down to the very point that it turned, which you can't see on this time frame. This is just the shape of a trend and a correction, and that's the point where there's a correction. But when you look at the correction more closely, as we have been doing before, we were able to see that a C of a correction formed one, two, three, all of that was perfect. The subdivisions were clear. Four, and then an extended five. One, two, three, four, five. And the point where it turned was so perfectly clear and identifiable that it was amazing. 
So right after that, the next day we had Kiwi News, and then that just further confirmed it. It's not a coincidence, and the reason is because markets always do that. For those of us who can read financial markets, we know that markets always do that. Just most people don't know it, and they can't see it. But if you would like to know it, and if you would like to actually learn how to trade, the best way to do it is not by having someone give you a trade so that you would get lucky for that one trade or have a trading signal so you could get lucky and try to trade someone's trade instead of knowing how to do it yourself. The way to do it is to participate in ongoing live trading sessions where you're seeing how to identify these things on a regular basis over and over. And that's the normal way that you would gain any skill. So to do that, just go to tradingmastermind.com and you can start by enrolling in our free training program. So if you have any more questions about specifically how can you do this on the next trade, let me know. I can make another video and show you exactly how it's done again. Okay, so I show these turns all the time. Later on, after, if it's a major turn, some people will say, wow, you were right about that. But a lot of people don't get it. They don't know what it is that I'm showing. But if you would like to know how to read markets and be able to tell if something's turning, if you could tell if something's not turning or if it's turning, that would be very useful to know, very valuable to use as a part of your skill for choosing whether to get in or out of trades. So of course this time the Euro Aussie and the Euro Kiwi are very similar. Now both of these pairs are correlated almost exactly with the Aussie Swiss and the Kiwi Swiss but because the Swiss has been exaggerated that's not the one that I would use right now because it's stretched out, exaggerated, and that's the Swiss. But here it is on the Euro Kiwi. This is almost definitely going to turn. If it doesn't make that big turn for one month after this wave right here, which I will be able to show you exactly when it's ending that wave, it's not that difficult. And we will be able to tell that by observing it just like always. And being able to do this, I think it's really so easy, so obvious, but who knows? I've been looking at charts for a long time and I've studied the charts and I've got a lot of this experience from observing what they do over and over again and just getting used to reading the language that Marcus form. But it's not mystical and it's not really uh, extraordinarily advanced. It's just something that anybody could do and I'd love to be able to show you how to do that. If you'd like to know, just go to tradingmastermind.com or join us in our live trading sessions that we have every day. So good luck with your trading, and I'll talk to you later.